So what we might do is we'll do an EFT tapping on reducing stress or moving towards resolving um, the stress to actually achieving your new year's resolution and sorry <laughs> taking full responsibility for your own being we'll start by tapping um three times on each side of the hand and then we'll move into the tapping points so a quick drink so so even though I have this new year's resolution that I really want to achieve. And it's something that will bring me truly, true happiness in my life. I still deeply and completely love, honor and accept myself. Even though I have this new year's resolution and I've set this time frame of when I want to achieve it. I still deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Even though there's this thing in my life that I really want and I no longer want to be what I was last year. I still deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. This New Year's resolution, this New Year's resolution that I've set, set for myself. And I'm going to achieve it. Because it's truly what I want. All this resolution. All this New Year's resolution. A new year. A new me. Go on with the old me. Stepping into a new me. All this New Year's resolution. And I'm going to be resolute. I'm not going to waver. I'm going to be a high definition resolution. My vision is clear. And what I want. This New Year's resolution. All this New Year's resolution. And even though if I find myself not achieving this New Year's resolution, and I find myself failing, or I might perceive myself to be failing in achieving this new me, And I start to get really stressed. So when I look on Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is, there's people out there achieving their best lives. And I might've had another drink. I might've had another smoke. I might have not done my routine for the day. Then I start to beat myself up. And I start to get really stressed by it. 
And I get very, very stressed. I get overwhelmed with stress. Until that high def resolution of what I wanted. Starts to get lower in quality. And I start to see myself in low quality. I might feel guilt. I might feel anger. I might feel shame. And I feel very stressed. So everyone else is doing well in life. And I'm just a failure. Maybe. Or maybe that's where I'm directing my focus. It's where attention goes. Energy flows. If I focus all my attention to how I'm a failure, how I feel guilty, how much anger I experience for not being resolute. And then I'm going to fulfill that prophecy. So I'm going to shift my perspective. I'm going to reframe my way of thinking. I'm going to ask myself why. Why am I pushing myself so hard? Why am I feeling stressed? Why am I valuing other people's opinions about myself? If their opinions are saying, hey, you're failing, you're not being resolute, It's kind of like music. Do you want to spend your year listening to depressing music? <laughs> or do you want to spend your year listening to uplifting music? So it might be listening to people that lift you up. But I'm so stressed. I just haven't achieved it by this deadline that I set for myself. This new life that I've set for myself. This new blossoming life. I've put a deadline on. <laughs> there is a line of death. <laughs> on this new year's resolution. on this new me. It's like I've put my head in the guillotine. <laughs> and said, so if I don't achieve it by X day or Y day, I'm gonna release the guillotine. <laughs> and I'm gonna release this deadline on myself. I'm gonna feel really bad about that. So maybe, just maybe, is this New Year's resolution what will bring me happiness? Is this New Year's resolution a result to a solution that I've been trying to fix? Mm -hmm. 
then I might not know what the solution is or what the problem is. So rather putting a deadline on myself, whatever New Year's resolution I set for myself, I'm giving myself the permission to grow slowly into it. Day by day. And little by little. And I'm not going to punish myself. If I don't achieve this resolution. in this imaginary timeline that I've set for myself. Because like with a, a tree, something that grows big, strong, and whether people admire it or not, or just enjoy sitting underneath it, these things take time to grow. And I'm giving myself the permission. And I'm going to give myself the time and space to grow into a new me. A new year. A new me. And yelling at a tree, getting really angry at it, making the tree feel guilty, making the tree feel very shameful, just doesn't make it grow any quicker. Might even stunt its growth. So I'm going to nurture it. I'm going to nurture it by taking care of myself, by reducing my stress. Because when you think about stress, it's kind of like growing a tree in hard, compacted clay. The roots just won't spread out and get a good foundation. I'm going to nurture myself by releasing the stress, releasing this constriction, releasing this constriction in my body, releasing this constriction in my mind. It takes time to grow. Releasing the stress in my body. I don't need the stress of a deadline. I've had enough of those in my life. <laughs> and releasing the stress. Loosening up that ground. So I have a chance to grow into my New Year's resolution. Giving myself the expansion to grow into. And I'm not bad or stupid for my way of thinking. It's just what I've learned in mind, body, and spirit. Taking a deep breath in. And seeing where that sits for you in your body, whether you feel a little bit more expanded, whether it hits a nerve and maybe a little bit more contracted. With EFT, sometimes um, 
well, <laughs> perfect example. Um, sometimes you have to empty the glass and let uh, either allow space um, for the good stuff to come in, like, um, or just have space for whatever you choose to put into it, or just allow the natural stuff to, uh, the good stuff to arise, like clear out the crap, basically, and allow the, <laughs> the good stuff to ar arise. So, whatever a New Year's resolution, being resolute um, that you set for yourself, just give yourself time to grow into it. Maybe it's not the resolution that you wanted to start off with. Maybe it was the start of something to get to something else sort of thing. It's like, hey, dieting wasn't the thing that I needed. It was actually this other thing that I needed to take care of myself for first and maybe that would result in weight loss whatever it is um, I guess like with the metaphor of screaming at a tree it doesn't help its growth it's a waste of energy <laughs> you're wasting your own energy that um, can actually go into um, setting your new year's resolution and put it into fruition so that's my um, new year's intuitive EFT tap and chat um, I'm Dion from Eflotion, uh, an EFT practitioner and a Soma Ref instructor. Soma Ref is also very good at, um, I guess, getting rid of old negative imprinting and um, sort of um, re-imprinting um, positive imprinting um, to really set that intention. So if you're interested, definitely book in a session um, with us. And my wife, Rebecca, is also an EFT practitioner. Um, so you've got different styles, different ways um, of connecting to a person, male, female, personalities, whatever it is. So um, if you're interested in the session, definitely book in and um, we look forward to hearing from you and happy new year and um, stay positive, stay um, happy, healthy and harmonious. I'm Dion and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.